Hey guys, this is Khadeen and you are watching Grow with Khadeen. In this video, I am going to share with you that how you can manage internal and external links of your website using a single WordPress plugin. Uh, basically, in this uh, uh, video, I'll share with you that how you can manage the external links, internal links, how you can set custom rules, default values for the links, uh, for the internal links, external links, and also how you can set up a page like uh, YouTube or Facebook when you leave the website it says you are leaving the website and how you can add that custom page to your website as well so when someone on your website would click an external link uh, would go to an external website third party website you will give a warning that you are going to an external website and also how you can uh, set up uh, the rules uh, like if someone clicks on an external link the pop-up is shown and also on external links or internal links you can set some uh, uh, rel, um, rel attributes uh, like no follow no refer or these kind of attributes so to do that you will need a plugin which is uh, wp links so just go to plugins and click on add new and after you will click on add new um, you will um, go to the wordpress repository and search for wp links and when you will search for WP links, uh, you will get uh, this uh, this WordPress plugin at the top. Uh, it has 100,000 plus active installations and good rating. So just click on install now. And after clicking on install now, you will have to click on activate. And it, this plugin uh, would be activated in a while. So here you go. The uh, plugin got up, uh, got activated, and now here you can see uh, we have a uh, we have an option for WP external links. So I'll just go to WP external links now, and here we are on WP external links. So I'll just move it. But before just customizing anything, I just want to tell you if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, so just click on subscribe button and click on bell icon because if you haven't subscribed, you are missing out a lot. I used to upload latest digital marketing, web design, WordPress and passive income tutorials and ideas on my YouTube channel. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and I have courses on several topics. So if you want to get up uh, information about those courses, my profile is also in description. And if you want to get access for uh, to those courses, is for free you can subscribe to my newsletter and follow me on instagram because i used to upload uh, publish uh, giveaways on monthly or weekly basis where you can grab those paid courses for free so let's get back to the topic so here we are on wp external uh, uh, external uh, links so first of all you just have to click on apply these changes right now we are on this uh, external links tab so we have uh, external links internal links excluded links ex uh, exceptions tab uh, four tabs these four tabs are p p with uh, these three tabs are with the pro version but i'll uh, i have the pro version so i'll tell you that how you can grab the pro version and how you can use it i'll also tell you about the pro version as well first let's talk about free version only so uh, first of all setting for external links uh, apply these settings then uh, you can enable it or uh, disable it if you want if you want to, uh, the, these settings to work then you can enable it or if you want to disable these settings you can just disable them uh, then open external links as so first of all you have this option where uh, by default this rule would be applied to external links so I want uh, external links to be open in a separate new tab if you want to um, open a if you want uh, external links to be opened in the topmost frame uh, like the google sign in opens or these kind of things open you can also uh, open it but uh, i would recommend this new tab is okay okay then you can overwrite the existing values as well then set follow or no follow if you want to uh, set uh, those external links as follow or no follow this is an seo concept and uh, the, those external links i would recommend set them as no follow then uh, also add uh, uh, to uh, uh, REL attributes so if you want to add any REL attributes to those external links uh, the, uh, if this is that is a sponsored link then you would add the sponsor so don't add this one you can add external no referrer or no opener uh, or you can uh, just remove them as well okay and then you have this uh, set title for the link you can set your own title but when this one is there then uh, the default title uh, would be added 
did here the uh, the what is the, the original title of uh, original anchor text would be the title of those that extra external link or uh, the on the page uh, on the page it, the link is taking you uh, will be the title of that okay then you can add css classes as well or you can add some uh, if you want to add any dash icon font or some icon you can also add icons by default and then you can just click on save changes and that's all about the external links and you can save changes and changes are saved and when now i'll uh, click on external link uh, on any external link on this website i'll be uh, when, uh, go to the new tab where i can visit that website then in internal links uh, same is the case uh, same are the settings uh, you have to uh, select those settings and uh, click on apply these settings and open an uh, internal links uh, you can uh, keep as is uh, or in the same window or in the new window this is recommended as uh, like it should be in the same window and uh, then uh, it should be follow or no follow uh, so uh, you can just open um, uh, it should be follow okay then also add to rel attribute uh, no opener or no referrer so we can remove it then uh, you can add any css class to it or uh, and then you can just save the changes after saving changes then you have these excluded links uh, let's just search on google what these excluded links are so we'll search on google what are the excluded links so on what google says about uh, the excluded links is here we have the first post about uh, from uh, the wp external links the term excluded might be used by them for something but it uh, it's not related to what excluded means in wp external links in our case excluded just means uh, links spe uh, uh, links special cases of handling links by uh, the wp external links plugin it has no influence on how google and other search engines track your links it means this is uh, the term by wp external links itself on which the, those two rules doesn't apply so you can also set the settings for uh, these um, uh, this option uh, the, the options are all the same but the tabs are different the type of links are different then you have some exceptions if you want to add any exceptional rules for excep uh, exceptional links you can just go to the exceptions and uh, set those exceptions as well like here in exceptions you have different uh, exceptions like uh, uh, apply settings on uh, all the content okay and uh, then uh, if you want to skip any pages you can skip those pages okay and uh, um, like then if you will remove it then you can uh, you can select whether on uh, comments or widgets or or on pages if you don't want these rules to be applied i'll select all content and from here let's say you don't want it to be applied on contact page so you can just select a, a, a contact page and you can just skip it okay then uh, if you want to uh, any classes html classes or css classes uh, to be excluded you can uh, exclude them as well and uh, your, if your website has subdomains and you want these rules to be applied there as well so you can select this option uh, then uh, ex include external links by url you can um, include or exclude the external links uh, then own settings for excluded links so um, uh, for, uh, if you uh, want to set uh, ex uh, excluded links as internal links or uh, uh, internal uh, ex uh, uh, owns uh, if you want own settings for uh, excluded links or you want them as internal links so i would say internal links and then uh, skip uh, let it as it is and just click on save changes and after the changes are saved uh, yeah then you have this link rules exit confirmation link checker and uh, uh, the support option you have to get the pro version to get all these things so just click on get pro now you have to select a plan you have personal plan team license and agency license so you can click on any of these plans and uh, you will be redirected uh, to the checkout page there you can just check out and add all your information like email address and uh, then uh, you'll have to continue here add your country and then select pay by card or pay by paypal and you can pay and uh, get access to that tool but right now i have access uh, to the premium version of uh, the wp link so i'll be using that a uh, premium version you will have to go to the dashboard then just go to the download plugin and uh, download that plugin and then you have to go to this manage licenses uh, option and you will get a, a license and uh, just copy that license go to plugins click on add uh, just do this 
and uh, click on add new and after clicking on add new uh, you have to click on upload plugin and uh, here just click on choose file select uh, the plugin and click on install now and you will have to replace the free ver uh, pro version with the free version so after clicking on install now it would be installed and now you can just replace the current with uploaded okay and then just copy uh, the uh, license key and uh, you will have to paste it here uh, just go to wp external links and uh, here you will have to add your license key uh, i would pause the video and activate it because uh, if my license key is shown anyone can activate with it without like buying it and uh, it would be uh, like loss for me so i'll just pause the video and get back to you after it is updated so here you can see it's validating and it's saying please wait and here you go i r uh, link got updated and we have those settings restored again and then uh, we'll just go to exit confirmation and we'll see how it works and what it is so exit confirmation means when someone will click on uh, an external link uh, this pop up would be shown stay on the website you are leaving the website and you can customize this as well and uh, this is basically uh, like youtube or facebook you have this thing so first of all what should be the pop-up background color you can select pop-up background color as black like this one or you can select it as white you can customize then you are leaving the website like i'll say don't leave the website and now let's see so it's saying don't leave the website then background color i want it blue so when i'll click on this here you can see now it's blue and then you have this text and uh, you can just change the sex as well what should be the text size you can increase the text size as well like let's say i have selected 16 and now the text size is uh, more and uh, then you can just select the pop-up width uh, and you can also select the pop-up height and uh, if you want to show an overlay and what should be the button text and then button background color i want it purple so now let's see so here you can see so that's how you can customize it and you can just click on save changes and when someone will uh, click on any external link now this pop-up would be shown and after going to that pop-up they can go to an external website and uh, then you have this uh, link rules you can uh, set the rules for links um, uh, you can set uh, some specific rules for the links uh, so add a link rule and uh, let's say i want to add a rule for link which contains uh, the term categories for category pages so i'll select categories this link should contain categories and this rule should be applied to the links containing categories then what should be its priority then keep as is uh, uh, it should be opened in a new tab or frame and uh, then what uh, it should be external sponsored use gc uh, i'll say no uh, referrer and no opener and then uh, existing rel value so set only values checked above and then what should be its title and um, let it as it is and then exit confirmation it should there be an exit confirmation or not you can also select it and now you have the pro version so you can also select this one with the other links as well then just go to link checker and uh, after going to link checker uh, this uh, link checker would scan uh, and analyze uh, the links on your website uh, and will tell you how many total pages are there on your website how many total links are there on your website and how many links are problematic so you can just fix, fix those links so here you can see it's uh, it has found there are total 46 pages then it will check uh, how much pages are there and then it will tell you that how many uh, how much of them are uh, the problematic uh, prob problematic ones and then you can fix those links and pages and here you go after running the test it has analyzed all the urls and uh, uh, it uh, right now uh, my urls are 100 percent okay none of the url is uh, the uh, problematic url but if there would be problematic url it would be shown here and then you can just click on open details and you can get details about that url that where it is heading what problem this url has and how you can fix it and uh, that's how you can just uh, use this wordpress plugin and i think this is an amazing plugin for bloggers for e-commerce stores for affiliate marketers as well and for the businesses who have multiple pages and you can just use this website uh, or oh, so use this plugin and uh, 
uh, this is an amazing uh, plugin okay so you can use this plugin and I hope you uh, like the tutorial this is all about this tutorial and uh, uh, see you next video till then stay safe take care bye bye